Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the Western Provinces Hard Tire. The quest requirements are Morning's End Part 1, Swan Song, Big Chumpy Bird Hunting, and Recipe for Disaster, Freeing Awawogi. Skill requirements are 48 Agility, 50 Woodcutting and Fire Making, 62 Fishing and Cooking, 64 Magic, 65 Construction, 68 Farming, 69 Hunter, 70 Ranged, 70 Mining, 75 Thieving, and having a combat level of at least 100. All these stats can be boosted except for your combat level. Items needed, a crystal bow, a small fishing net, 2500 GP, a ninja or crock grigri, any kind of axe and pickaxe that you can use, a tinderbox, a palm sapling, some brutal arrows, an ogre combo and multiple ogre bellows, then also three mahogany planks, a hammer and a saw, and then lastly two law runes, two fire, two water and a banana as well as being on the regular spellbook. For the recommended items, as always, some weight reducing armor and one stamina potion should be enough. Also, 15 papayas, so we can pay the gag member with it, so our palm tree will not die. Some food, armor, weapon and potions to kill Zolra, as well as one elf. And lastly, because we are going through the elven lands, passing various traps, one antidote dose as well as maybe some food might be helpful. For the teleports, one teleportation method to your POH, one to Felador, one to Piscatoris, one to a gnome, so that's either the gnome village or the gnome stronghold. I will be using a Grand Exchange teleport. Also one teleportation method to Zolra. The easiest access would be via the Fairing if you have the 76 agility shortcut unlocked uh, with the Fairing code BJS. Next is one teleportation method to Castle Wars and then one teleportation method to Rance. The teleportation method to Rance is also just a dual ring to dual arena and then taking the glider to uh, the Feldip Hills. So where I want to complete my first task is here in Letia. Here, just rake or just get rid of what you have planted here in your fruit tree patch. Next, what you need to do is just plant your palm sapling and pay uh, Lilywen, the gag member, 15 papaya fruits. And then after 16 hours, your palm tree will be fully grown. Then you just need to check its health, pick some coconuts, and this will be task number one completed. Now, because we are not going to wait 16 hours, let's complete those 12 other tasks of this diary. First, let's attack an elf. Doesn't matter which weapon, we just need to kill it. The final damage needs to be done with the crystal bow. So let's maybe use protect for melee and piety. Do not kill it, the final damage needs to be done with a crystal bow. I don't have any space. And this should be task number one completed. Awesome. Let's pick up this net and let's go west. We are now going to exit the village. Uh, next task is mining some adamite ore. So be sure to have your pickaxe as well as your antidote and some food because we are going to pass a lot of traps. So, after passing this tree and here at the Dire Wolves, we need to pass them west and just west of the Dire Wolves, we should find a trip wire. Right, and here it is, just west of them. Try to step over it. If you fail, drink an antidote because you will get poisoned and get dealt 10 damage. Next, let's go south, but watch out for the leaf trap just south here. Yes. Click on it to jump over. Next, let's go south and you will already see the mining sign. There, we will now need to pass these sticks and we will reach the Adamite rocks.
Ok, once you finally pass those annoying sticks, let's mine these green rocks. Just one of them. And this will complete task number 3. Alright, once you have your Adamite ore, let's teleport to Falador. And let's go south. Now we are going to buy a painting from Serenity. So afterwards we will need to go to our POH to uh, put that painting in our house. So also be sure to have your three mahogany planks as well as your hammer and your saw. Serenity is here located in the White Knight's Castle on the second floor of the eastern part. Here, let's talk to him. He's sitting at his desk. Select the first option. What can you do for me? Can I buy a painting? Second option. Select the second option. I'd like to buy a landscape. And then select the fifth option, Isavdar. This will cost 2000 GP. Alright. And you now have your map. Let's teleport to our POH. Let's enter the house first, of course, in building mode. Next, if you don't even have a quest hall, you first need to build one. This requires level 35. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, fine. Right here, we should be... There's a portrait. And that's the map, so this should be the landscape. Let's go build a landscape and select the Isavdar option. This requires 65 construction and complete task number 4. Next, let's teleport to Apetal. That will complete task number 5. Let's equip our Ninja Grigri or Croc Grigri and let's do a lap around the agility course here. This is just located south of the bank, just south of where you have found the monkey dentures. Alright, after you've completed one lap, this will be task number 6 completed. Next, let's go north and go to the big monkey gate. Just south of that gate, there will find a rare tree sign, which are uh, mahogany trees. We will now need to chop down some mahogany logs and burn those. In my medium diary of the western provinces, I have already told you to do that task. But if you didn't, let's do that right now real quick. Alright, here at that, re -tree, at that rare tree sign, let's click on it. Wait for some mahogany logs to spawn in our inventory. Let's use a tinderbox on it. And this will complete task number 7. Next, let's teleport to Piscatoris. And once we're there, let's go southwest and catch one dashing cabot. Be sure that you have nothing in your uh, left hand, right hand and in your gloves. And let's talk to Matthias. Can I have a go with your bird? Sounds reasonable. So here all the way south, light, try to spot one of the more lighter ones, the beige ones, and catch a dashing cabot. 
retrieve the bird and this will complete task number eight. Next, let's go north and let's return to Piscatoris. And now we will need to catch a monkfish. All right, here in Piscatoris, let's catch one monkfish and afterwards let's teleport to a gnome and pickpocket it. I will be using a Grand Exchange teleport. This is pretty close to a spirit tree. And then I'm just going to go either to the tree gnome stronghold or the tree gnome village. I like the village. It's pretty close to some gnomes that you can pickpocket. Let's right click on one of these gnome archers. Of course, if you fail, try again. And I have gotten some nicely king worms. Nice. This will complete task number 10 out of 13. Next, let's use our minigame teleport and let's go to pest control. Now we just need to complete one pest control veteran game. Afterwards, we're going to kill Zolra. Then we just need to kill or have a kill count of 300 chompies. Check up on our palm sapling and then we are done with this diary already. Afterwards, just go back to the tree gnome stronghold, talk to the elder gnome child and you will be able to claim your rewards, which are one experience lamp, which grants 15,000 experience in any skill above level 50, the ability to upgrade your Void Knight top and bottom to Elite by speaking to the Elite Void Knight to make it boost your ranged and magic damage by 2.5%, as well as giving plus 3 prayer bonus. Also, you now have access to the Monkey Skull to make an ancient Gorilla Grigri. Access to the Red Chinchampa Hunting Ground, 100 free Ogre Arrows per day. Teleport Crystals can now hold up to 5 charges. One daily teleport to Piscatoris via the teleport option on your banner. And the ability to buy a Crystal Halberd. Alright, this was my guide how to complete the Western Provinces Hard Diary. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.